while doing sonosalpingography we try and document the uterine cavity whether the uterine cavity has any polyps any adhesions it is usually recommended in women if they've had a previous surgery say cesarean section or a previous polypectomy or any other procedure involving the uterine cavity it gives us a fair idea if any pre treatment hysteroscopy or laparoscopy is still needed or just with the help of sonosalpingography we can take a decision that we can attempt at few cycles before we plan for surgical intervention it is a very simple procedure it is an opd based procedure it is less painful than hsg because we use a very flexible and a very soft catheter to do sonosalpingography and in the same setting we can also look at the uterine cavity in a very detailed manner we can take 3d images of the uterine cavity and have a 3d image reconstruction trying to look at the shape of the uterine cavity and other details and if we also insert a high contrast dye in the same setting we can also evaluate the fallopian tubes recommended in couples who have already been trying for pregnancy if the age of the wife is less than 35 and it has been 6 months of trial naturally or other treatment with ovulation induction and planned relations it is highly recommended that you get a high contrast sonosalpingography with 3d uterine reconstruction done if the age of the wife is more than 35 years of age after 3 months of regular trial it is recommended that this test should be performed if the wife age is less than 30 years after one complete year of natural trial for pregnancy this test can be considered let's see if there is already a previous history of surgery if there is already a previous history of a surgery involving the uterine cavity or the fallopian tube or an endometriosis surgery and after the surgery there has been one year of recurrent trial but there is no pregnancy in those situation also a tubal evaluation test can be performed before starting the treatments